Hi guys, it's me Ryan. Welcome back to another video. And something just came in the mail today, which is the gaming laptop by Asus Tough. And this is a 15 inch laptop and it features the 11th gen Intel i7 11800H CPU, which has eight cores and maximum speed at 4.6 gigahertz. And for RAM, we got a 16 gigabyte DDR4, 3200 megahertz. And for the hard drive, we got 512 gigabytes M.2 SSD. And for the GPU, we got the RTX 3050 Ti, 4 gigabyte graphic RAM. And this is the GPU that I wanted to try the most. And without any further ado, let's get this gaming laptop unboxed by our legendary Cotter. Let's unbox it. Not working so well. I think I need to invest to a knife maybe, huh? Let's get it out of the plastic form. And let's see what we have. It is gaming laptop. Uh, it doesn't have any descriptions. Okay, so let's get it open, shall we? I still need, need my legendary cutter. Da, 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 da. We have some stickers. Really nice. And let's see what we have here. That's not heavy. Okay, let's put that aside for now. Let's take a look what we have inside the box. Uh, the menu seems beat up. Okay, so in search of the incredible and some notes and tips of how to use the computer. And as well as a user guide. And what else we have in here? And that's our power cable, as well as the power supply, the power adapter. That's pretty much everything in the box. And now guys, let's take a look at this little beast. Let's get it out of this bag. Ooh, I like this space gray. It's kind of tinted color. It's not, it's not shining. It's not that dark, but it's just right. And the finishing is really good. Like force equipment, like uh, something from the army, you know? Looks great on my first impression. Good looking laptop. And let's take a look at more detail of the exterior. And on the left side, we got our audio. We got our display and two USB type A and also the HDMI, the ethernet cable. And lastly, we have the power. And on the right side, we have the USB type A and uh, also you have a lock, but I don't think you need that. And on the front, there's nothing really going on. So at the back, we have two vent for the outtake, one at your left side and another one on your right side. And I didn't see my speakers, let me see. Oh, here, so we have one on the right and we have one on the left. And the bottom of the laptop is where the intakes goes. So you got one here, another one here. And also you have some non library rubber. So you won't go anywhere on your desktop. Uh, guys, I just need to talk again about this uh, material. It is really good, man. I have a sweaty hand. It doesn't leave any marks. It's very good. I really like it. And now guys, let's open the back cover. See what we got inside this laptop. That took me some efforts, guys. But we got it. Let's open it. So we have one fan here, another fan over here, and we got three heat pipes that go through the GPU and the CPU and keep the laptop cool. And also we got two RAMs over here that's uh, upgradable. And we also get another empty slot to upgrade for more storage. And that's our battery right there. And this is the M2 SSD behind it. And here's our speakers. And there's another one. And I wonder what this space can be used. Maybe put another SSD, solid storage drive. And okay, let's put everything together and let's boot it up. All right guys, so right after I put up everything together, I noticed that there are only a few vents that are actually has airflow go in there. I don't know why they have 
all others as uh, solid. I wish that they, they make it all like this. So there's gonna be more airflow in there, but uh, maybe this is enough. Let's take a look once we test it on the performance, make some gameplay, see if it's gonna overheat or not. So let's take a look at what we have once we open the lid for the first time. Let's open it. Ding, 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 ding. And the display that we have right here is 15.6 inch IPS. We got 144 Hertz and 1080p. And the keyboard is backlight keyboard with RGB lining. And also you get this WASD in different color, which is really nice. And if you are a FPS gamer, and this is jazz for you. And it's a full size keyboard that includes the number pad. And also we got some vents here. And here's our power button. And this dock is really, really good. You can rest your hands on here. You know, there's some keyboard, they're going a little bit more downward and your hands are like half on the laptop and half on the desk, make you really uncomfortable. But this one, that seems very good design. Oh, also I noticed something here, that display port is Thunderbolt. I don't know what that means, but Thunder is right? supposed to be really fast. Let's boot up for the first time. Ooh, the keyboard, the backlight keyboard. It's changing color. So let, let me turn off the lights so you get a better look. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's turning on. And the backlight keyboard RGB is really nice. Especially this part, the WASD. It's in different color. The whole key is lighting up. It's just flashing a little bit faster than I thought. But I think we can definitely program that in the software that comes with the laptop. And now guys, let me set it up and then I'll run some game tests on it to see how it performs and also the noise level and if it overheats. I'll see you there. So after setup guys, I found this software that is similar to Alienware Command Center. It's called uh, Armory Create Underlining. And uh, we can change all the color for the keyboard. And now guys, let's play some games. So with everything on high and ultra, we are getting above 60 FPS on this RTX 3050 Ti. And to give you guys an idea of how loud this laptop is going to be, I'm going to mute the sound of the game. I'm going to put a microphone on top of the laptop so you can have an idea of how loud this PC is going to be. I mean guys, this is not super loud. And still, if you one of the guys like to run the games on high and ultra, this is considered loud. But if you're playing with headset, that's totally fine. And let us try another game. So with everything on ultra, DLSS off, we are getting 20 to 30 FPS. Okay, so with medium, 45, 40-ish. Low, we're close to 60, I mean, 50 something okay so i guess that's it and guys this thing does get hot okay i think that this is because uh i don't have a cooler under the laptop and it doesn't have that much uh, airflow and as you guys can see if i lift up the laptop uh, it's getting lower around 78 so if you want this laptop and want a lower temperature you better get a cooler overall guys i think this is a really good 15 inch laptop both for gaming or daily project or even video editing thank you for watching and if you like the content make sure to drop a like and consider to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss anything like this other than that as always please be safe out there and i'll see you in the next videos peace out